Hey, what's up guys? Um, so this is a video about um, how I got started in the uh, fitness journey. So, um, make sure you have a pen and paper uh, because I will be describing the three things that, um, that I started out with. Number one, uh, I started doing intermittent fasting. So for those who don't know what intermittent fasting is, it's a period of time where you do not do not eat um, quite a bit amount of time you don't eat and then you have a eight hour window of eating. So for example, uh, let's say I started tonight. Um, I stopped eating, let's say eight o'clock at night. Um, my fasting time will be from eight o'clock when I'm sleeping and then when I wake up, uh, I think about till 12 o'clock. Till 12 o'clock is when I can eat. Hence the word breakfast. Break fast, right? So um, I will break my fast at 12. Um, so during the time of your fasting, when you first wake up, right? It's natural, not natural, but it's like in our schedule, it's like, oh, I gotta have breakfast. It's not true. You don't have to have breakfast. Um, early in the morning um, but the benefits of fasting is that uh, when you're fasting your body goes into survival mode right it goes into a state where your body wants food nutrients vitamins and whatnot um, so while you're fasting your body just starts to eat up the fat in your body already to convert it into energy um, so essentially, you're starving yourself, yes, for, for for a certain amount of time. But it's like I said, it has the benefits. Um, things you can drink while you're fasting: obviously, water, black coffee, green tea, and um, mineral water, like seltzer water. Those are the only things. Now, black coffee does have calories, and it is true: ca anything with calories will break your fast. But Black coffee is the exception. Um, black coffee is awesome. It has, has a lot of benefits. For one, it's a natural caffeine. Keeps you energized. Keeps you focused. Uh, it's a great hunger suppressant. Um, it also helps burn fat. Um, so I drink about a cup every morning. Or at least I try to. Um, green tea is another excellent drink to drink. Um... It cleans your, your inside, um, gives you energy, focus, uh, also burns fat as well. So that's a great, great product. Um, obviously, seltzer water, mineral water. I love that stuff. A lot of people don't like it, but I love that stuff because it keeps me full from the, you know, from the CO2, from the carbon, but uh, the carbon, carbonated drink, whatever. Um, so yeah, I drink those while I'm fasting. Um, might be wondering what I eat when I break my fast. So that comes down to number two. The number two thing that I did was eat clean. Um, now what I mean by that is I eliminated a lot of things, man. I eliminated bread. I eliminated um, stuff that was high in sugar. Um, I eliminated pasta. I eliminated soda. I eliminated juice. I mean, the, the good stuff, you know. But, um, quote unquote, the good stuff. But yeah, I sacrificed that and uh, I didn't eat any of that. Um, I gave those up because I had a goal to meet and I still have a goal to meet in terms of fitness. Um, so I started eating clean. Uh, lots of greens, any type of greens broccoli, spinach, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, uh, kale. Kale is so excellent. Um, Green peppers, any type of pepper, sweet peppers, um, essentially any vegetables, right? And vegetables are really good for you. Any plant-based stuff is really good for you. Um, what else? Uh, then I would have my proteins and carbs. Now, proteins obviously like chicken, tuna, fish, salmon, fish, any type of fish. Well, normally I would recommend codfish, uh, beef turkey eggs um but also you can look in if you're a vegan 
you can also look at beans, black beans, brown beans, kidney beans, lentils. Lentils are amazing. Um, and then, you know, obviously you have your fats. Uh, avocados are amazing. Um, I, eat, I used to eat like one a day. Um, nuts, uh, walnuts, peanuts, cashews, uh, any type of nuts is really good and fat. Because um, you need that. You need fats. You need those type of good fats to fight up the fats that you already have in your body, right? Um, so I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, yeah, so, you know, those are... I will make a video of, like, all the foods, a list of all the foods that I eat. Um, I, I don't have really have recipes. I just make my own concoctions. Uh, but I can I can give you a list of all the foods that I eat that's helped me out in my journey so far. Um, and the third thing is oh I did I forgot to mention about the carbs. The good carbs that I have is white rice, brown rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes. Every now and then I'll have like a flour a flour tortilla to substitute bread, um, and make like a wrap and whatnot. But um, yeah, those are the carbs that I eat. Those are good carbs. Starchy, but, you know, they're not like potato chips or bread or um, pasta, you know. So keep in mind about eating clean, you know, moderation and all that. Uh, the third thing uh, is exercise. I mean, the reason why it's the third thing, even though it is important to exercise, yes, but... Um, you know, I went the first three months of intermittent fasting not exercising at all. Um, I was intermittent fasting, eating clean, and I think I started October 2017, and then for the first three months I didn't exercise. I just ate clean, did the fasting, I lost about 40 pounds right away. But then I started one. I want to start implementing exercise on because I want to get used to the intermittent fasting. Um, and so after I did that, that's when I started seeing results even quicker. I started losing the weight quicker. I started getting being more defined and stuff. Um, but the the only issue I had was uh, I wasn't getting as big as I wanted to in terms of muscle size. So what I had to do is ante up my protein, ante up my carbs a little bit more, my fats. Um, so, and I went on a calorie deficit. So what a calorie deficit is, is basically that you eat, you consume a number of calories less than what you're supposed to eat. So for example, when I weigh 330, they say I was supposed to eat 3,000 calories just to lose weight. So what I did was I said, screw that. I don't want to do that. eat 3,000 calories. So what I did was take half of that. So I eat about, ate about 15 to 1,700 calories max a day. Uh, seems like a little bit, but I still had a you know, good amount of food in my body to you know, go about my day at work, at the gym, and stuff like that. So that really helped me out. So calorie deficit, look at that up. Uh, so for exercise... Um, Without proper nutrition, there's no, there's no like, you know, without proper nutrition, you're just going to break even at the gym. Um, I've had a friend, I'm not going to say his name, he's told me he's, you know, you know, low, so I go to the gym every day, I work out and stuff like that, but I just, I don't seem to lose weight. Either I break even or even I gain weight. I said, what's your diet like? What's your nutrition? What are you eating? And he tells me, he's like, I only have maybe one or just two small burgers on the on the road. No. Like that that's gonna break even your 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 fitness life, right? You're not really gonna get any results by doing that. So what I did for him is I made him a nice nutrition plan. Um and uh <laughs> dude's killing it man. My man's killing it. He's uh, he's feeling better. Uh, he's looking better. Um, I actually pulled up a picture of him the other day of how he used to look like a couple months ago, and I sent it to him. And he's like, "Oh my God, I can't believe that was me." So you know, it's it's it works. Um, but all these three things that I mentioned, um, you cannot do without a couple things: hard work, sacrifice, your willpower, and your effort. 
those are the main things you need to understand and to master before you can even you know keep you know before you can start these things you need to have that mentality of how hungry am I pun intended how hungry am I to get to where I want to be at in terms of fitness right um so these are the three things that I've incorporated in my life in terms of health that have helped me lose 117 pounds so far. Um, and this is, like I said, this didn't happen you know, a couple months ago. This is two years of doing this. And it takes a lot of patience. And I always tell everybody that, I, that I've always ask me about what I'm doing and stuff. It's always a marathon and never a sprint. Remember that, guys. It's always a marathon and never a sprint. You need to have in your mind that it takes time for you to lose weight. It takes time for you to build that muscle. It takes time for you to have those lines. It takes time for you to get a better uh, time in your mile. It takes time for you to get a better PR in the bench, squat, whatever you're doing. You know, I came from zero. I had, you know, I, for those that who do personally know me, you know, I've been fat all my life. I was always on and off my weight. And, you know, I used to lift heavy, you know, when I was like 14, 15. But I, I can't, I couldn't do that when I started up again at 28, you know. So uh, it's one of those things where I had to reset again. I had to bench press from the bar to now I can bench, uh, I think, with ease, 225, with ease. You know, from the, my squat game, from the bar to now 315, 320, 320 pounds that I can squat. So it just, it takes time, guys. You need to just be patient and work hard. Um, don't give up. Even when the days that you feel like getting up, giving up, don't. The days that you feel like you're going, you want to go to the restaurant instead of the gym, pick the gym, you know? So I'll make another video. This one's getting a little too long, so I'll make another one, all right? All right, guys.